We're in Windows Server 2016. I'm going to show you how to allow an inbound port in case uh, you've got something that's blocked that you need to allow inbound. So what we can do is just right click on the start button, type search, put in control panel, hit enter, and we'll go to Windows Firewall. Click on advanced settings and we see our inbound and outbound rules. So we're going to want to choose the inbound rule and we'll click on new rule. Now we have several different options. We're going to choose the port because that's what we want to do here. And we're going to choose either TCP or UDP. And we know that we want to allow UDP, I'm sorry, TCP, and we'll do port 443. Say we want to allow um, SSL connections into our web server, for instance. Go ahead and click next. We're going to choose to allow the connection. We're going to choose any type of network connection. And we're going to say SSL inbound for the name. Click finish. Now if we go back to our advanced settings, we're going to see that that rule is the very first one at the top, which is good because if you have another rule above it that blocks it, then that means it wouldn't work because the firewalls are all applied from the top down. If you change your mind on that, you can either right click on it and choose to disable the rule or you can just simply delete it. So that's how we allow an inbound port in Windows Server 2016 Firewall.